All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, my regular viewers, listeners, and watchers. And of course, if you happen to be here for the very first time, welcome. Before I go any further, my name is Rahul George, India's premier eye hypnosis coach and your personal guide. So today has been uh, quite the day. Uh, of course, at the time of this recording, we are on Sunday. And uh, this is actually the end of the day. And, um, you know, as I was getting ready for today's pod, uh, just kind of reflecting on how the day was. Um, you know, there have been a couple of firsts. Um, I, as I was sharing with some of you earlier, they, I was exploring a new hobby. And uh, today was the first, uh, possibly of many, uh, where I... Um, hired a bike out and I took it for a spin and uh, you know I've heard a lot about the meditative uh, aspects of of uh, of uh, touring of of going on these long rides and uh, it's probably been you know now I, it sounds funny the way I say it but it's like it's probably been decades since I've been on uh, you know a, a, a long ride especially on a two-wheeler. Um, and, you know, just having this time to myself today and um, also just kind of like reflecting on the entire process of this uh, coming together. Um, it kind of reminded me of several moments today where this theme kept recurring. You know, in, in this, uh, especially if you are a healer coach and you're in this space of communication, of uh, being able to connect with others, being able to hold that space for others. Uh, a lot of times or sometimes, um, you know, they, there will be those moments when you become aware even more that when it's like when I don't listen, I will react. And uh, today was one such day and it just kind of uh, brought home this idea over and over again that, um, of course, it's not the end of the world, but it was just a reminder that um, it's so easy to become reactive. It's so easy to um, to become reflexive. And uh, instead, you know, if if you really want to be able to tap deep within, a lot of that comes from listening. So somewhere towards the latter half of today, I even gave myself the time. I, you know, consciously actually did my practice of um, actually reflecting on the day, and uh, in a way, sort of detaching myself from the day that that had happened. It's like, you know, when you think about the good and the bad or the, the happy and the sad and you're able to, you know, to, to zoom out from it and, and detach yourself from either of them. Um, you know, that is truly when, uh, you know, we become the, uh, the observers. That is truly when we become the travelers. Otherwise, what can happen is uh, a lot of times, and I'm sure you had this experience, a lot of times we tend to um, we tend to end up uh, getting sucked into or stuck in one of the two. So if there's something good that happens, we tend to get stuck in that. If there's something bad that happens, we tend to get stuck in that. And uh, it becomes hard to shake it off. It becomes hard to let go of it and move on to whatever life is offering you next. And so for me, today was, uh, you know, while it was a momentous occasion, um, you know, I had literally barely a couple of uh, weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago, had this idea of, um, you know, exploring, uh, riding, a, you know, riding literally a, a, a bullet. Um, and so, you know, for those of you who, who know friends or if you yourself have, experimented with uh, the, the bigger bikes it it it's a different mindset altogether so you know this entire journey was um, in a way you could say tick marked in a matter of you know a couple of months and for me that was definitely a first because I never 
um, had even assumed it would take the time that it took to get to this point. And so one way is to, of course, celebrate that and then kind of get uh, stuck in and, and hanker for that. The other way of looking at it is that, you know, the flip side, which is uh, I found myself sort of being more of uh, more reactive than actually listening. And, uh, you know, there's a price to pay for that. But again, if I was, if I had to have gotten, you know, stuck in that frame of mind, I wouldn't be sitting here like this. So just a reminder to you as much as it is to me that uh, it is that easy to get stuck. It's also that easy to let go. And so as I let go and I focused on, you know, what I love doing a lot, love doing the most at this point, especially in my life, which is doing the work. Um, I had a beautiful session with my community. Um Especially on Sundays, we have a, a book club. It's called the I Hypnosis Book Club. And uh, we explore, you know, it's like in your own business, how do you bring on leads? How do you generate leads? And we had some really fascinating discussions. And, you know, uh, by the end of it, it, it just kind of reminded me once again that, you know, when you simplify your life and, uh, you know, the more I simplify my life, the easier it becomes. Uh, having said that, of course, there will be moments where, it's easy to to step back into the old version of you, the old version of me. And uh, when we do, you know, there is a tax to be paid. So as I wrap this one up, just a reminder uh, to all of us and to me, for sure, uh, you know, to just be more of the listener and to just listen more, read more, listen more. The answers will come themselves. So having said all of that, of course, if you are, uh, especially if you're a healer coach, you're on this journey and you're maybe struggling, you're you know, having questions, maybe that, that uh, um, what's it they call it, the uh, a battle with your conscience and, um, and you, you don't know where to turn. Uh, one is, of course, if you have people around you, please reach out to them. The other way of saying it is if you do not have people that you trust or you feel that they will understand you, then reach out because it's not just me. We are a community. You know, that is the eye hypnosis community. In fact, you should be able to see a link for you to be able to join the community. Um, and, um, you know, we, we meet thrice a week, Mondays and uh, Fridays at 6 p.m. and on uh, Saturday at 5 p.m. And these are like free meetups with the intention of you to be able to meet like-minded people, for you to be able to experience the power of eye hypnosis and uh, maybe even just find ideas or, or answers uh, during these sessions. So, you know, we have people who come from all over the country, all over the world. So you're welcome to come and be part of it. And, uh, you know, having said all of that, you know, if there's any way in which I can help you, please do reach out. Right. So, having said all of that, of course, remember to live your purpose. Look forward to seeing you in the next part. Have a wonderful day ahead, a week ahead, and of course, a truly amazing, fantastic year ahead. God bless. I'll see you in the next one.